Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Valkyrie Chronicles on the PC. And uh, let's get started with episode with, uh, chapter 3. In March of 1935, the Empire began its invasion across Gallia's eastern border. Maximilian, commander of the Gallian invasion front, built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. Randgris, Gallia's capital, a town secure and stable since ancient times. Within its walls stood the castle Randgris, and within its unicorn spire resided Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. As the conflict with the East grew worse, both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. So these are my new digs. Are welcome. Yes, they are. It's pretty nice, to be honest. Oh, my uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. I don't really have anything to say. <laughs> Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. All very good things. Everything you need for a nice hike. Or combat. I guess so, welcome. Welcome? Can I come in? No, you may not. Sure, it's open. I damn welcome. Oh, you're already changed too. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. You look good, actually. So, how about me? Do I look alright in this? Convincing? Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? Of course not. You look tough. I like it. Oh, good. I was worried it looked kind of silly. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. Coleo what? And did you just say beetle? Uh, Welkin? What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready, we should probably go see the captain now. Now that I think about it, I should probably... Oh, God. I, sh I should probably just uh, be quiet during all the cutscenes, really. There really is no need for me to speak during any of them. And I, I don't really have any great comments to say either. 
so and I feel like it would some people would rather just me stay quiet throughout the whole entire thing uh, of the cutscene so that's what I'm gonna do I don't want to interrupt the immersion of people come in excuse me ma'am Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther, reporting for duty. Ma'am, Galleon Militia Enlistee, Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Barat, commander of this regiment. Gunther, you're promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. Ma'am. Enlistee Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am. What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? Followed you? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yep. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welkin was in science and I was in archaeology. And just look at us now. No archaeology or science. Looks like the two of us are studying war, I guess. Looks that way. It's good to see you. And you. That'll be all for now. There's a strategy briefing later today. But you still have time. Time for you to catch up. You'll be spending a lot of time on the post and in Randbreeze. They'll be your new home. So get to know them. That'll be all. Report back in time for the briefing. Until then, you're dismissed. So we have several things we can do here. Uh, I something came up, and hopefully my voice is still recording. So these look to be our. These look like. These are our units. Shock trooper and a lancer. Yeah, is it? Now, in these kind of when I'm bored, I I, I grind in games, so um, <laughs> I may become really powerful uh, one day. Just one day, just like one episode from the next, I might become more powerful Welcome than ever. Welcome to your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who's gonna whip you lazy blobs into shape. I see him drink. Still, I can't work miracles here. No amount of drilling beats real combat experience. I want you all to go out there, kick some imp tail, and then show me what you learn. I will train that experience into something you can actually use. Level you bums up. Okay. But, don't go trying to hog all the glory. A squad's a team, and we got no need for stars. You will train as a class, and level up by class. Scout level two, scout level three. You get it? Yes. <laughs> when the scouts level up, that means each and every one of them goes up that level. You hear me, maggots? <laughs> Any of you think he's better than the rest of the team, go home now! Nah, I'll stay here. All right. Now I'll show you lowlifes how this whole thing actually works. It ain't complicated. First you go out there and fight. Then divvy up that experience here. Okay, sounds Once simple enough. Once the experience enough. you cram into a soldier class clears a set amount, it'll level up. Picking which class to level up and when is your job as the squad leader. Now give it a go. Okay, I'll do that now. Thanks. Train all you want. I've got all day. I guess we'll do everything in order, I guess. You're one level closer to human. Uh, thanks, I guess. Well, actually, let's ignore the sniper and the engine, engineer and sniper for now, since we don't actually have those units. Bite the bullet! No 
so we don't need to. Good work. It's level two. Or now, actually, let's look at uh, his thing here. HP two six five. So if I do this. Oh, okay. And he'll get more HP and possibly new potential. Okay. We don't have any new engine. We don't have any engineers or snipers, so uh, we don't need to level up this just yet. So let's level up these guys. Bite the bullet! No pain, no gain. And they level up. Okay. Good work. Okay. Sometimes leveling up a unit class will unlock a hidden potential. In you can think of potentials as the natural abilities your soldiers have inside them. All right. Those abilities will form a big part of your strength in the field. So keep them in mind. Not sure what he, I, I, I don't know if the game tells you what each potential does, but Other times, leveling up a class will earn you clearance for a new order. Here, as long as we're talking about it, I'll teach you a classic. A real golden oldie. And what is this classic? Evade boost. This order raises one of allies evasion skills. Okay. Orders are special commands you can give out as the squad leader. They can save your tail. It doesn't take a genius to see that leveling up your soldiers is the best way to beef up your squad. Okay. The soldiers will get stronger, and you just might unlock new potentials and orders. All that just from me working you sorry bombs <laughs> into the dirt. Yeah, thanks. I just hope you maggots are ready for a real workout the next time I see you here. Let me go back in there actually, because I, I now that I think about it, I could probably have level up one of those other classes that I don't have yet. What? Yeah. I got no use. <laughs> Let's just put the rest into this class. Come back. And let's head into the R&D department because I believe here is where we can upgrade our weapons and stuff like that or develop new weaponry. Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? Make me new weapons. Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? Yeah. I knew it! Man, I've heard about you! That evacuation at Brule was just... Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man! Man! Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people! You get all my respect and then some, bro. Well, he's, ex um, he's uh, excited, isn't he? What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, KC, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> man, man. <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Kreese Cherney. I'm training here as a mechanic. Okay. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. <laughs> I like this guy. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development. Making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be the ultimate squad. <laughs> of course, research expenses aren't cheap. I know. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. Okay. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself, or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Cool. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. 
Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. Okay. It seems simple enough. Development work on tanks happens in the form of body enhancement thread and weak point improvements and attack support. Body enhancements mostly refine the gun barrel and body armor to improve its base stats. Tanks will automatically be given the best body type you have developed. You decide whether to favor attacks or defense and altering body types give your tank a different outward appearance. Improvements to the tread and weak point and attack support take the form of parts that can be added to the tank to enhance their abilities. Each part has a set size and blocks. You decide how to fill the 4x3 block storage capacity in the Edelweiss. Pick the optional parts that best fit your own personal combat style. Okay. So let's develop weapons first of all. So... First of all... Hey. I can either focus on... Okay, first of all, let's get one defense in. Here you go, bro. All done. What do we do? Develop, like, <laughs> better... Just the, be just the better uniform? Technique to make it tougher. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get the accuracy boost here. Galleon too, so it, oh you know, yeah, there's, you can you can definitely see the, the better accuracy there. Oh, there's different pathways too. Well, that's interesting. Looks like we can't actually go to the next one. Sorry. Bro. All right, so we we you can't just get overpowered right in the beginning. But I'm going to try to get all the all upgrades I can. You, bro. It's done. For you, bro. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Sniper rifles. I guess we might as well develop these while we're here. Here you go, bro. Hand grenades. We can't develop these anymore. Uniforms. We developed the uniform. Blast suits. These are for uh, the the Lancer guys, I believe. Here you. All right. So we developed everything we could here. Let's look at the Edelweiss. Body enhancements. Let's see. We can get a. We can't get. Thing here. It looks like just yet. Unless. Oh no. We haven't gotten these yet. So we can either get um, better armor or. Or reinforced barrel, which is more damage. Okay. Looks like some some grinding is gonna have to be done to get these upgrades here. All right. It's not gonna be a problem. Get this. Let's see. Can't get that just yet. Oh no, wait, we can get this. We can get a spare belt in. We can upgrade the radiator. is interesting because you have to decide which one will be the best for you. Let's get the side upgrade here. Here you okay, so that's how that works. Alright. So it looks like treads and others and the attack support. Alright, so uh Alright, so body enhancements you can get all the body enhancements you want, but you can't get all of the treads and other and attack support things you want. All right, that's simple enough. All right, guys. Actually, I'll be right back because I actually want to be as strong as I can be for the next mission. Well, sir, was that yeah, it was helpful. We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. Okay. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. All right. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go back to book mode, right? See, okay, Jesus. I have I have not been to the command room yet. All right. Let's go to the command room, I guess. Oh, no, a cutscene. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. 
tutorial for this room, so I don't have to be quiet for this. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Mm-hmm. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers, isn't it? I'll explain how this works. This is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five classes, just so we're clear. All right. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be your eyes. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. Okay. That pretty much keen eye for enemies. Knew that already, but a good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Next up, the shock trooper. Mm -hmm. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. Okay. After them, we have lancers, then anti-tank units. They're critical when facing armored targets. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. Yeah, because they can easily get around to the back of the tank while a tank can't really get behind a tank that easily. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Yeah, so they're they're really just specialized units, but they'll be helpful nonetheless. Changing but they'll need backup. We have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. They can restock other units' ammunition, <laughs> treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. They can place sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Okay, so they're the most uh I guess well rounded of the group. Their actual combat skills are very low. Yeah. Think of them as combat facilitators. Lastly, we have the snipers. They can shoot down targets from a considerable So distance. these guys probably be on the towers and staying back for most of the of the map. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Okay. Drawbacks include low mobility yeah, and defense. Suspected that. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. Okay. That should cover the basics. It does. Go ahead and put a squad together now. There's room for 20, and you can swap units at any time. Mm hmm Okay. Let's do this. I believe you can actually talk to your units eventually. And hey, it's Vice. You remember Vice, guys? It's Vice from the, 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 the I forget the, what the game's called actually. Skies of Arcadia. Yeah, that's where he's from. All right. The name's Vice Engelbard. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. Yeah, I want you. Um. Okay. Here, I believe like his. Another person from Skies of Arcadia is also in this game, but I don't. Doesn't look like I can see them. Okay, so we need we need an engineer of some kind. Um, let's see. Darks and bread, darks and hater. What? He's level one for. Oh no, wait. The the sniper's level one. Um, let's see here. Paul energy, camaraderie, darks and bond. Metalhead, fatalist. Desert Algae fancies women. Man hater. Likes Alicia, Eddie, Aika. Okay, likes Nos, at least Newt. I don't know who those are. So I assume we want people that they like. So I don't have anybody that these guys like. She likes Alicia, so let's just get her. My name is Dallas Wyatt. I'm excited to be joining up. Alright, let's see. We need a sniper, I guess. We got. Cesare Regard and Catherine O'Hara. Let's see. Pessimist, Kobe Juno, Kevin Newt. Um, let's see. Metal Bread, Pessimist, Camaraderie. Desert Bread, Sniper, Killer. So this guy is good at killing other snipers. Potential info. 
standing on loose sand sharpens awareness, leading to improved evasion. Even just being around Darkson's makes them nauseous, leading to a decrease in defense. Conference that they can best any sniper, okay. Sending in grassy field helps them relax, enhancing their defense. Having allies of the same unit class nearby puts them at ease, raising their natural evasion. Having less than half full nature makes them throw away hope for the future, meaning less than defense. Oh, okay. So these, I think having these two guys together would probably be the best thing. My name is Cesare Regard, and I'll handle things my own way, thank you. Okay, I think this guy's a little... I'm Catherine O'Hara. I look forward to joining you all. Okay, an accent word. Alright, so let's get some scouts. So this person doesn't like anybody particularly. That Audrey fancies women, fancies men. Okay. Let's get her. My name's Ramona Litton. Good to be on board, Welkin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get another shock trooper. I like this guy. Name's Kobe Caird, boyo. Looks to me like we're gonna see. Yeah, yeah. This person looks interesting. I'm not even paying attention to their potentials. I don't even care. <laughs> Let's get a shock trooper. Oh. Oh god, this guy. This guy has a lot of bad stuff. So nope. Oh no, we need a, a Lancer. Okay. This person's not even really going to be going against scouts in the first place, so. Hi, my name's Elise Moore. Nice to meet you. Her voice sounds familiar. Um, let's see, frail body. This person will probably be near allies. I don't think that will be an issue. get another engineer, I guess, because we only have two engineers, correct? We have only have one engineer, so we probably need another one. <laughs> Having brother in close back. Um, let's get just this guy, I guess. Um, Herbert Nielsen. Is me, I mean, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll try. We got a keeper. We got a keeper, guys. Um, I don't know if we should just recruit everybody off the bat. This guy's called Hermes. I'm Hermes Kissinger. With me here, your squad will get twice the girls. This is exactly what I want. Alright, let's get another shock trooper, I guess. I'm probably only gonna get one more shock trooper and that'll be it for recruiting, because I'm pretty sure we can get more people, so I don't wanna get too many people now. Even though I've probably got a bunch. I don't want another lancer. Two of those ready. Child of nature. I don't want them. So this person would probably be best at just going in. All right, that's fine. I'm Wendy Chesslock. <laughs> Kaboom. I like this person. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And we got four scouts, two uh, lancers, two engineers, and two snipers. And how many shock troopers do we got? Oh no, wait. We got three scouts, four shock troopers, two of these, two guys, you know, two engineers. Actually, I think we need one more engineer, actually. Because one would go with the scouts, I guess. I don't know. I think I'm good with, with these. Oh, no, we got it. Okay, so they, okay, so I have to, like, I have to get enough people. All right, so I want to balance. All right, so I got, so let's pick another scout. Uh, Fancy's woman, Lancer Killer. Okay, so this guy can kill Lancers. Yeah, let's get this guy. 
That's not a scout. It's not a scout. That was a shock trooper. This was a Country bread, standard bread, dirt, least was concentration trooper, fire, shock troopers, I think attack was like shock troopers. Okay. Hmm. Oh god, no, I don't want any of those. God, yeah, I don't want any of these people with allergies. Hmm. But he does have these things. Oh, I'll get him. Please call me Wavy. From today onward, we fight together. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We have four scouts, four shock troopers, and all right. So let's get another. Uh, let's get another. Another lancer here. This person's a city kid, lone wolf, and he's a lancer. Hmm. Probably the Lancer, the Disdainer, the base, while the other Lancers. Alright, yeah, I'll get you. I'm Niels. Niels Darden. I'll see you on the field. Snake, is that you? We had another Darkson. Oh, hmm. Yeah, let's get you. Hello, sir. Oh wait, does she have an allergy? Because I don't want people to have allergies. Oh god, I, these people have a lot of freaking allergies, actually. I don't want anybody with allergies, actually. Because I'd rather just have people... I know, like, it probably is stupid just to not get people because they have an allergy, but I'd rather not have them just slowly lose HP and have to be constantly healed all the time, so I'm gonna have to actually give these two guys up. Good. I'd like to thank you for the... So let me get you... I'm Homer Perron, here to fight together with you. Until this war claims my life. Well, this guy's depressing. Um, let's get you, Ramsey. I'm Ramsey Clement. Uh, hey. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> Actually, okay, so we have a lot of free slots, so let's see. We have two snipers, that's all we can get. We have four scouts, four shock troopers, three those guys, and three engineers. We could get another engineer. I guess let's get another shock trooper. I mean, not shock trooper. The name's Wal Whatever that guy is. Um. Let's see here. So we got four of those guys. Okay, let's just get another engineer. Let's get a Dean. I know we have a Darkson. Um. So we got. Four scouts, four shock troopers, four of these guys, four, four engineers. So we're pretty even. So I guess I'll just add another. Uh, I add another shock trooper. Born leader, mental energy. She does. This person does not have a lot of. Uh, she's a scout. Let's get her. Frieza, you're handsome. Okay. And uh, what's imp nature mean? Okay, you, you get, get you. Page salad. Oh god, that guy sounded very angry. Okay, looks like we're good. Well, feel like you've struck a balance. Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. I'll do that. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. All right, I'll do. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together, so they're all ready for combat. That's nice. They'll be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. 
You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Trust in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. All right. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Okay. So I know that probably took us a while. Wow. Squad leader's a lot of responsibility. Come to think of it, Valdio's heading up squad one, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now, too. I'd better get a move on. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Let's go to book mode. And I know we didn't really do anything this episode, but it was a lot of learning the tutorials and everything like that. About headquarters in the Galleons militia base, you can use experience points and funds you've acquired in battle, train your troops to higher levels of new weaponry. Stopping by before com combat or after, not once you've acquired more resources is a good idea. Open the menu with the Y button to pick headquarters from the tab select menu to visit the base facilities. As you progress through the game, new destinations around the base will become available to you as well. Yeah, alright, but because we was a lot of tutorial stuff today, I think this is enough for this episode, even though we didn't really get that much far into the game, but you know, it was a lot of the tutorial stuff and stuff like that. So I'll see you guys again next time, whenever that is. Bye.